Citizens of ancient Egypt, I want to let you know that you can change how Pharaoh A New Era looks. The same way you can change how Skyrim looks. That's right, Reshade is a piece of software that works with a number of games and it's not modding the game. It works with like DirectX games, so it just sort of works with every game that runs on a certain type of software. I'm simplifying it, but basically that's how it works. And I, I like some subtle changes to my games for personal preferences and stuff like that. And this works out of the box with Pharaoh A New Era. So let me show you what you can do with Reshade in Pharaoh A New Era. So if I get into the game here and I press the button to bring up the reshade software. This just runs with the game, right? And it, it takes a little while to get used to the software, but basically all of these effects here, all of these effects can be applied to... It, it's basically a filter, right? A filter to put something... Uh, to, to alter the screen. So, you know, you can have levels and film grain and luma sharpen and vibrance and all of that. And I like subtle tweaks, but maybe you are more interested in more dramatic changes. So for example, if you go to vibrance, you can see down here there's settings that you can tweak. And with vibrance on, you can make it very vibrant. Or if you, if you want to make the game less colorful, you can drag it back down, you know? Like maybe you don't want it like this low, but you know, at the default levels here, maybe you'd rather tone it down just a little bit because you prefer a more realistic color scheme or whatever. You know, I like it slightly more vibrant. We can make it extreme or just not use that at all. You know, levels as well is a big one. So this affects how bright and dark things are. So, you know, you could bring the shadows much darker or you could bring the highlighted bits much brighter or just bring the brights brighter, the darks darker, and you just have this much more contrasting effect, right? And that's something that you might want to do. I personally, with a lot of things, like a touch of film grain because it just, it might not show up in this video because, you know, video compression on YouTube and stuff like that, but I, I like a touch of film grain just to add a little bit of a texture to everything. And, uh, you know, th that, that can be nice. There's some extreme things, like, for example, having, like, uh, cartoon effects, which I'm not sure, I don't usually use this, I'm not sure if it's something that, there we go, we can, you could play Pharaoh a new era with, with this sort of cell shaded look if you so desire. <laughs> uh, it's not what I would do, but you can do it. And all of these effects are here, and then you can save them and do what you want. So just to show this off, I'm going to jump into a save file to look at an actual city and see how all of this looks. Okay, here we are on Mennefer, and you can see I've got my little city running here. Let, let's zoom on into it to, to have a closer look, maybe about there. And you can bring up the reshade settings anywhere on the game. So currently it, it does cause the screen to scroll over, but we can try to uh, find um, uh, uh, certain effects that we want and then we can apply them and then come back and have a look at them. So let's see. Yeah, when this is on, it's just going to scroll left. That just happens. But let's say I want to, hmm, let's uh, bring up the vibrance. Maybe not that much, but like by default, it's at zero. So let's bring up the vibrance a little bit to there, maybe. Levels, we could get some more specific levels in terms of things. Like a lot of people might find the sand too bright. You can you know, bring that a bit darker. Look at that. You know, make the highlights a little bit more contrasting. We'll have the levels there, yeah. There's HDR effects as well, but let's let's not get that. Let's put on a little bit of film grain just to get a little bit of motion and texture onto things. I don't know if that will show up on the video uh, because bitrate compression, but if I drive up the film grain, uh, hold on, let me go to film grain. Uh, what are my settings here? Intensity, variance, 0.2. If I think if I 
put out up the variance, it should show a lot. I mean, you could push this way up like that, but I like just a little bit. So if you want to copy my, my film grain settings, it's that. It's 1.2.51. You can copy that. Uh, what else can we try to turn on? Like I was I was testing the cartoon stuff as well. Let's do that. I, I assume a lot of you would prefer not to do the cartoon stuff but because the game, I think a lot of people are asking it to be less cartoony, but sure, let's just do that. There's assy art as well. Ah. <laughs> um, but let's not do that. So let's try these settings and then I will scroll on over. And this is obviously not my preference, but you can just you can just do this. The important thing with reshade is you can just do this if you desire. Uh, let's turn off the cartoon thing and then it's more like what I want. You see the colors are popping a bit more. You know, the, the, the contrast is a little bit more intense. And uh, I'll try get a before and after on this going so we can so I can show this to you. But uh, yeah, th this is reshade. It's really, really good, really, really useful. And if you are wanting to change the look of the game, then this is something that you can definitely do. Okay, so you can see in the set that there's a few things I can go over here. You see in the tab here, there's home, add-on, settings, statistics, log, about. There's a lot of information here. It's even showing the frames per second in the top right corner. Uh, but one thing you want to do is under settings is you can uh, uh, toggle some hotkeys here. So what I have here, if you want to change the overlay key to what pr you press to bring up the reshade window, it's this one. So right now, by default, it's set to home, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's also the effects toggle key, which would be unbind and unbound, unbinded. Uh, and I'm going to set that to end because it's just the key next to home. And now I can show you the before and after. So like if I were to do some uh, intense effect like this, we can try that and I will hide this. So right now there's... I keep governing, please. Yes, yes, I won the mission. I'm too good. <laughs> uh, let us do some before and after here. So if I press end, it will toggle the effect, right? So we don't want that. Uh, so what I have here is film grain, some levels and some vibrance going. And if I show you, this is the default graphics here. And this is, maybe it's a bit intense, maybe it's a bit vibrant, but this is something a bit more what I like. I would actually tone down so I'm flipping between the two now. If I zoom in, you might be able to see it a bit more. I might tone down the vibrance a little bit. So let's go down to vibrance. Uh, what have I set it to? Uh, where is vibrance? Uh, oh, I turned it off. Vibrance. It's one. Maybe I'll just have it at like 0 0.1 ra rather than... Yeah, 0 0.1 rather than that high. So do that. And then let's... Uh, close that, bring this over. I think that looks pretty good. Just a little bit more vibrant, right? So we've got before, default. This is default, after. Before, after. Before, after. You know, that that's something I would do, for example, but uh, you might want to do something different. And that's the whole point of reshade, that you can just do whatever you want here. You know, there's curves to make things intense, like curves would would can be used to really control the brightness and contrast of things. You you just you know mess around, uh, daltonize. I don't even know what that is. It makes things a certain yeah. It's a color filter. You can look that up. But yeah, there's even things like for example, you know, letter boxes for the cinematic effect. You know how that is in in Skyrim. Some people play with the letter boxes. But there we go. Once you're done setting up your things, you just want to click on performance mode and that sort of locks in your settings. And then you can still toggle before and after, but uh, that, that will just make sure things run you know, a little bit smoother and it locks in your settings and all of that. And remember, if you want to go back and uh, tweak your settings, just press the button to bring this up, uncheck performance mode, click on the effect you want and then adjust it. So like I was thinking maybe my levels were a bit too intense here. So I'm just going to make it maybe two, four. What's the max here? Two, five, five. So let's do like two, four, five and eight, I guess. Turn performance mode back on, lock that in. There we go. So this is vanilla right here. This is my little color tweak. Vanilla, color tweak. Vanilla, color tweak.
color tree. To just show you how to download and install Reshade, don't worry, it's simple. It, it, these things are always complicated the first time, but once you do it once, it's easy. I'll link it down below. There's Reshade, here's the website. You will get to the website here. You wanna click on download and you'll see there is basically a bunch of buttons here. Just look at the download Reshade. At the time of making this video, it's version 5.7.0, but it might be something else for you. Um, click on that and you're gonna get an exe file. Now exe files are often blocked by whether your browser might have security settings or uh, maybe your Windows or, or whatever has security that's going to block exe files from coming in because just to note downloading random exe files from the internet is dangerous but uh, this is reshade so um, you know this this one's okay it's going to download a file and we I'm uh, to wherever your download folder is for your browser note that sometimes it's your desktop sometimes it's a downloads folder you got to know where you're downloading files to okay i can't tell you where you're putting your own files but once you get the exe for simple case i'm going to go ahead and shift it into the Faro a new era install directory Okay, so here you are in the Faro A New Era directory. I just put the reshade setup exe in this folder for ease. It doesn't have to be, but I like keeping things together. Double click this reshade setup. And then you're going to have to tell Reshade where the, the software you're reshading is going to be. So you can see in the Faro directory, install directory, this is wherever you install the game, depending on the GOG version or the Steam version. But there we go, there's this Faro exe. We need to tell Reshade that this is the software that we're reshading. So you're going to have to browse for that because it's it might list it here, but you know we can just browse for it. So let's go ahead and click on Browse. And then here we are in the Faro uh, install directory. This is wherever you installed Faro, okay? So click once on that Faro. This is the application. Click once on that Faro. That's the icon there. Press Open. And then Reshade is like, okay, this is the AXE. Then we click Next. And then for this particular software, you're going to select a Microsoft Direct X 10, 11, 12. This is the one for this particular game. So select that, click Next, and then select a preset to install. Uh, there's no real preset that we're using, so we can just skip. And then this, we can just leave it as default. These, these are the types of effects we don't need. All, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave it as is, click Next. And then, yep, you, these are all the ones we want. You, you might see these, these are the effects that we can change in, in the game. Click Next, and it's done. Finish. By default, you want to press the Home key to bring up a reshade in the game. And then you can do all the effects that you want to do. All right, there we go. That's, that's basically what I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you want to see more Farah A New Era, we've got so much content on the channel already and a complete playthrough of the original Pharaoh and Cleopatra, all 50 plus missions on the channel already. If you want to get Pharaoh A New Era or Pharaoh Classic, there are GOG referral links down below. Please do use those links to buy any game on GOG. It does greatly support the channel. All right, go enjoy whichever game you want <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.